Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole Cardi B situation, honey. So once again, the internet thinks that Offset is cheating on Cardi B because she took the Snapchat and she posted the following message. Go ahead and check this out. So Cardi B says, I told you you wasn't marrying no average bitch. Now you're going to find out. Don't hurt yourself. What people don't get that God always puts shit on my lap. It's fun and games till I give birth. Am I the only one tired of Cardi B and Offset and these supposed cheating rumors, okay? So anyways, after those tweets went viral, she then got in her damn feelings and started going off on the fans for assuming that Offset was cheating. So this is what Cardi B had to say yesterday when she was addressing the situation. So Cardi B says, I didn't go live yesterday and not every relationship problem is cheating. People are so weird. Then she goes on to say, Looking at Offset sleep so peacefully while this baby is dancing Ric Flair drip. I want to fight him. All right, so you guys just saw Cardi B address the whole supposed cheating thing. My thing with Cardi is this. Obviously, she still has reality TV show mindset because she's always running to social media to tell all her damn business. And then she'll type stuff up. She'll post things. And then when fans assume certain things, then she'll come back and get upset. Obviously, you were implying that he was cheating by what you were saying when you're saying things like, I can't wait till I can give birth. I can't wait to have this baby. So that way you can run the streets and pay him back. That's basically what she's insinuating. Like, we all understand that, you know, every relationship issue is definitely not cheating. But with Offset's history, that's what people are going to run to first. That's what people are going to think first. So when she's posting this stuff, she's looking for attention. She's looking for sympathy. And then as soon as they make up, then all of a sudden she wants to flip it around on the fan. Nah, fuck that shit. You knew what you meant when you posted that. You knew what people would think. So now you can't turn around and try and shame folks for thinking the worst of the worst, okay? The only reason why she's trying to shame people now is that they've made up and everything's all good. So now if you guys do not know in other Cardi B news, she's officially the first female rapper to have two number one songs on the Billboard charts. As we all know, her first song, Bodak Yellow, hit number one on the billboards. And now Cardi B has done it again with her song, I Like It. That is now number one as well. And I love that song. So Cardi B is super happy. She's celebrating. She's talking about this. I want you guys to go ahead and watch these videos right here. Check this out. I'm number one. I'm number one. We went number one. Number one! I'm so excited! I like it with number one! Number one of the Hot 100. I'm so excited! Now we're just waiting on Baby Girl. Baby Girl. Number one on you home! Baby Girl. Woo! We waited on Baby Girl. I'm so happy. Thank you, J Balvin. Thank you, Bad Bunny. I can't believe it. When when I come down, I'm gonna talk to y'all more about it. But I can't. I'm too excited. My adrenaline is rushing and shit. Number one. One again. Yeah. Yeah. Number one. I'm number one. I'm number one. Tell you. I'm number one. I'll now tell you. Birth, birth, birth. Birth, birth, birth. What's poppin' guys? I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I cannot believe that I like it. It's number one and it's so crazy because damn babe. You know, I always loved this record, but I ain't gonna front. I slept on it and I slept on this record because you know, two verses on this song, J Balvin and um Bad Bunny part is in Spanish, and I figure not all my fans know Spanish, but it's like this is the song y'all made it happen and it happened and I'm so happy and I'm so thankful. I'm grateful for my fans. I have the best fans. Barty Gang is popping. Like there was calling radio station, requesting it. There was um promoting it. I love y'all. Y'all really be going hard for me. I got to do something real special for y'all. Thank you, everybody. I know I look a little fucked up and shit. I know my lace is fucked up and everything. But it's like I don't go out nowhere. It's hot as fuck. I'm pregnant as fuck. Like it's like... Who well, I'm getting cute for? My nigga gonna fuck me regardless. You know what I'm saying? And just so happy, guys. I 
Thank you. All right, so you guys just saw that video of Cardi B and Offset, so she's definitely excited. And I'm going to need Offset to slow his ass down, okay, and focus on the damn road because uh, weren't you in an accident less than a month ago when you were in the hospital laid up, battered and bruised, supposedly had to swerve from hitting a crackhead? I'm going to need him to focus on the road because, you know what I'm saying, safety first, your wife is pregnant, and we don't want to see you get into another accident like you did recently, okay, Offset? Thank you. So anyways, congratulations to Cardi B. She's definitely doing her thing. She definitely has somebody out here pressed, okay? Y'all can say what you want to say, but I think a lot of Nicki Minaj's issues are the fact that Cardi B is just winning left and right, okay? It's going to be very interesting to see when Nicki Minaj's album Queen drops to see if any of her songs make it number one on the billboard. We're going to have to wait and see, but right now it is definitely Cardi B's year. She's definitely the queen of female rap, like it or not. She's doing her thing and her numbers are speaking for themselves. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Cardi B and Offset. How do you feel about her basically insinuating that Offset was cheating and then when folks ran with it, she tried to go off on people as if that wasn't what she was insinuating and then also are you guys here for the song i like it and how do you feel about cardi b having another number one song on the billboard charts so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.